Hi guys, and welcome back to The Butterfly Farmer. Today, I've got my good friend see. David, and he's up from Gainesville, Florida. And I actually met him today, and he was telling me he has never seen a spotted cell. No, not yet. And I'm gonna try to solve that problem. Yes, let's We're go gonna out there. We're gonna do some herping. Hey, let's go do it. Fine, perfect. So we're out here in a deciduous hardwood forest. It's a bit of a miserable night. It's early spring, leaves aren't on the trees yet. Yeah. Um, but this is perfect salamander weather. Now this is the herb guy, not me. So I'm gonna follow his lead and we're gonna see if we yeah. can dig around and find some salamander. Try to find a nice follow along, let's go. All right, so what we're looking for are logs, pieces of wood, and rocks that salamanders will hide under. Yeah. Let's try this one actually, John. Nothing. Oh, oh, oh we got marbled. One. Look at that. That's a marbled salamander. There we go. All right. Now, this is not our target. We are after the spotted salamander, but not a bad yeah. find. These guys are yeah. pretty cool. Actually, look at that. It's almost got a diamond pattern on it. Now, the spotted gets much bigger. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Spotted okay. salamanders are quite a bit bigger than the, the marble. Still a really cute salamander, though. What are you feeling there? So slimy. It is a salamander. Nothing here, okay. And it is, wow, it's really getting wet out here. Yeah, wet and muddy. Let's check out this one. It's a perfect log for salamanders. Oh, 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 there we go. That's our spotted. That's our target species. And you can see his trail. Wow. Now, spotted salamanders around here are sometimes called, incorrectly called mud puppies. And that's because they have a wide head. They're super friendly. And they actually seem to actually like people. So here's your first. Yes, oh, I would love to hold this spotted one. Spotted salamander. Flashlight down here. It is cold. It is wet. And it we is miserable. Got our target. But we found David a spotted salamander. Wow. Now I'm just amazed by how long he is. I mean, yeah, these usually guys, think these, about these guys can grow up to nine. Yeah. So I've seen them closer to 10, wow. 11 inches. Yeah, they get they are big salamanders. They Wait. love it underneath logs. Um, and these guys actually have a tremendous lifespan. They can live up to 20 years. 20 years, is that right? Wow. Uh, and they're migratory. I know you were telling me earlier a little bit about yeah. the migratory. Yeah, so what, what will happen is uh, when the first spring rains come like this, you'll actually have all these spotted salamanders all coming out at once and crossing roads, going through the forest, all to migrate and to breed, actually. So it is super amazing. And we're a little past that early stage. When I look for these guys in the early spring, in our area, it's usually going to be sometime in February or even late January. But definitely an adorable little salamander and definitely worth getting a closer look at. So this whole video, I have been saying it is a warm spring night. Well, <laughs> that's for these salamanders, not for us. It's actually freezing out here. So I think we're wrapping this up. We have our target species. The beautiful spotted salamander. Look at that. David, thank you. It has thank been a so pleasure. Much, I have enjoyed this. I hope you all have enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good one. So long. I really feel like I want to flip this lock. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's calling to me, but I don't. It's gonna break. Uh, I, I, I broke, I broke it. <laughs> oh, man, that's that lock. This, this, you know, I bet there's 10 of them under here, and they're just laughing at us. So if we find a way to roll this over, we might have a chance to move. Oh, well, we have to, have to roll it over. I don't know what I was thinking. Normally, my superhuman strength would allow us to flip this, <laughs> but I so actually, wet. rain is like kryptonite to me. That will probably never be used, but hey, maybe if I get famous and do a blooper video someday, yes. we'll put that in the blooper and roll.